No, I can take this. I can do this trial with. I didn't realize they had that for this. That'll save us like a 30 minute queue, maybe. <laughs> Of 89, the Mother Crystal, Goddess of Light, Will of the Star, Hydaelyn, from the far reaches of the Ethereal Sea, has she ever called to you, and at last you meet face to face, that the signs which traverse the great expanse in search of Metion to forestall the final days, you must first rise to meet her challenge and prove yourselves equal to the task. So it must certainly be easier with real people, though, huh? Well. Alright, so let's go ahead and try doing this with the NPCs and see how it goes. We take them all. My turn. And we take them all, huh? Okay, well, we'll give it a shot. Oh, 89, the Mother Crystal commits. Divine Light, Eidolon. I, the last of my kind, shall test thee. Come, prove thy worth. You the strength of will to alter man's fate. A change of arms. May the test continue. This will hurt. By blade. Oh. I was not out of the way of that. I was lined up with them. Something special for you. Light on you. Be gone. Crystals of light to me. Okay.
The song of creation's end. Feel. The sorrow and hope's demise. Think. And find your way in the darkness. children and never look back okay. then you are resolved with heart and speed but this test is far from over by crystal's light let's give them a show you now. Light unyielding. I have you now. Refulgence <laughs> eternal. Still. Hold still. You underestimate me. Where high or low, my turn. You underestimate me. Cannot stop us by blade. <clears throat> but that would have killed me. I mean, I mean, what else, what else am I supposed to do? I mean, you're supposed to stack for that. Can't help it if the AI is not healing me. Come not to fear. Like Akmorn. Where 
anywhere near or far. I will not hold back. Oh, come on. Sir. Come on. They ran right into me. <laughs> All right. We're going to take a break. We're going to come back and we're going to do it with um, like actual people. All right, so we tried this once with the NPCs and it didn't go well. They basically stacked on top of me. And I couldn't get away and died. Rather than go through that, however many times it'll take to clear this, we're just going to um we're just going to queue up with the uh, regular people. We'll put our higher eye level gear on. Help us survive a bit more, give us some more HP. And probably could have done that with the duty support guys too but we'll try it again oh level 89 the mother crystal commits we put on our higher eye level gear Have you the strength of will to alter man's fate? A change of arms. May the test continue. Near or far? Oh, I was too far out. And now this. Light on yield. Oh, I got the wrong one. <laughs> yeah, I've got them backwards. I've only done it the once. I never even finished it. Here. 
The song of creation's end. Feel. The sorrow at hope's demise. Think. I'm switching on me. And find your way in the darkness. children and never look back <clears throat> then you are resolved but this test is far from over by crystal's light Refulgence eternal. Where near or far? I'm out. I'm out of magic. Yep. Oh, that hit me. Took my eyes off for a second. I wasn't the only one I got. I think I made it further with the NPCs. <laughs>
Don't run over me. That's how the NPCs got me. Oh, that got me. Whatever it was. All right, we're close enough to the end. We'll get the clear. Uh, hopefully. did it <laughs> this is probably not the best job to do this sort of thing with the first time was it at last man has the strength to I don't have any way to revive you. No, this can't be happening. Though my power is in constant flux, I have always kept a reserve for this very moment. It was a true test of your prowess. You have done well. There is one thing I must ask. By sundering the world into 14 shards, the ether of all living beings too was divided. This reduction would in theory allow us to more easily interact with Dynamis. Having seen mankind brought to the very precipice of extinction, you wished for us to develop a means to overcome despair. You believed we had the potential and sundered all creation to see it fulfilled, to deliver us to that swirling maelstrom of dynamis in which our foe hides and grant us the power to defeat her once and for all. Is this not true? It is as thou sayest. T'was the trial to which I subjected mankind. And it hath led to untold bloodshed and suffering. There was no kindness, nor justice in the tragedy I wrought. When confronted with the almighty Zodiac, my only recourse was rend him and the world asunder, that his power be diminished for a time. And so it came to pass. Now you, my chosen, have surpassed my expectations. Surpassed me. I entrust the fate of the universe unto you. This crystal contains the memory of Mution's passage through the stars. Deliver it unto the Lopperets. They will guide you to her. Mm. 
that though they may be capable of crossing great distances, there is a vast difference between traveling to the moon and the furthermost reaches of the great expanse. And unlike Meteon, we cannot simply soar on waves of dynamis to our destination. Indeed. To make such a journey would require an astronomical amount of ether. But a solution lieth close at hand. Of course. Of course. Yes, my child. Ever since I became your will of the star, the ether drawn here hath slowly crystallized. They who have answered my call know it well. While I have remained hidden, it hath become the embodiment of the planet's will in my place. A faceless, omnipotent force of nature. The Mother Crystal. Our final hope. Alas, I can do no more. The fulfillment of this task doth fall to you, my chosen. Now, heed these words. Darkness and light, despair and hope. As goeth one, so goeth the other. Become light, become hope. I have a gift for thee. Come closer. Long have I searched for a means to safeguard the future of this star. Though I knew failure after failure, by recalling thy tales and my promise to thee, I found the strength to carry on. Though the world is ever changing, thy thirst for adventure hath never waned. Thine unshakable resolve never ceases to amaze, to inspire. As a mark of my gratitude, I bestow this final gift. Thou dost possess the crystal of Azim, yes? As Hydaelyn, I reside over the forces of stasis, tranquility, peace. The laws which impart stability to existence itself. I will weave this self-same power into the crystal, granting thee mastery over matter to give form to the formless. Use it wisely, for it will not last indefinitely. As thou hast seen on thy journey through the ethereal sea, souls are drawn to thee. Mayhap this trait will prove to be a boon rather than a hindrance. It is thy hopes and prayers that enable Asm's invocations and give them life. So keep them close. But pray, remember this. When the way forward is hidden, even from the mind's eye, look not to the invocation, but within yourself. These were the words of the crystal's original bearer. With that, my work is finished. Fulfill our promise. Right the wrongs committed when the world was yet whole. Silence, the song of oblivion.
Teach her a brighter melody. Show her our journey is far from over. Thank you, Heidelin. We will find our way for now. I'm glad to see you well, though we could roughly place your soul as deep as you went, we could neither see nor hear you. Fluctuations in your ether near the end gave me quite a fright. What in the world happened? mean to say Heidelin is is no there's no time to feel our feelings we must carry out Heidelin's will without delay we'll find Metion if it's the last thing we do you wouldn't mind handing over the crystal that is the fancy navigatory one the edge of the universe where congregates the despair of countless stars you are determined to see this through we are should words fail us we will fight the bitter end i know that it pains you to accept this would that i need ask nothing more of you yet we have only two means to travel the great expanse the moon and charlie and zark i am all too aware that without both of them there will be no exodus but i nevertheless beg you to honor the agreement we made forms decision will be honored you have earned the right to use the ship as you see fit and i could not rescind it even if i wanted to as it happens i do not and would do all within my power to aid your call That settled, might I suggest you rest a while. Proving oneself to Highland is never easy, and despite our unparalleled genius, we'll need a day to make the necessary calculations. You may as well take advantage of it. You can chart a course through the Sea of Stars in a single day? Ye gods. Shall we head above ground for some fresh air, then, and perhaps a nap? to the annex. Aldesian annex. Aha, I've been expecting you. I heard about your foray into the ethereal sea. The students have ventured far and wide, but never quite so deep as that. Are you experiencing any after effects from your prolonged exposure? Nausea, dizziness, hauntings, hmm? 
Well, have a pleasant sleep, and if you do experience any unusual phenomena, please let me know. I shall add it to our records. Retire to your chamber. Yes. Level 89, her children, one and all, complete. Happy time. Some time, indeed, yes, for you, at least. Believe me, I'd meant to get some yet proper sleep, but here we are, drifting along instead. Well, well, you too, and so we remain. Watch and wonder. <laughs> yes, indeed. To begin, we first must see the end. Even unlocked, fast within your arms. <laughs> 